happening tomorrow, all eyes will be on the U.S. Supreme Court when the issue of same-sex marriage goes before the justices for the first time. The judges for the nation's highest court are scheduled to meet for their first conference of the new term, and they could decide whether to review Indiana's marriage case. RTV6 State House reporter Katie Hines explains. Indiana's is one of a handful of same-sex marriage cases that has been formally added to the justices' conference agenda for Monday. Utah, Virginia, Wisconsin, and Oklahoma have also all appealed lower court rulings that have struck down their bans on same-sex marriage. Two of the people who are closely watching what happens are Jan and Geraldine Vandiver. The women married in Iowa in 2011, and they're hoping their home state of Indiana will grant them the same benefits other married couples receive. Our tax breaks, um, our insurance, uh, even, you know, if she gets in the hospital or something and, and I'm able to be there with her. The justices are scheduled to meet behind closed doors on Monday. They aren't required to decide tomorrow whether to hear the appeals. They could put off a decision until January. These are highly confidential. We don't find out what happens in these conferences until years later when somebody writes a book or interviews a justice. IU Law Professor David Orntlicker predicts they will consolidate all of the cases instead of choosing one to review. They're not going to get any different kind of a resolution by taking Utah instead of Indiana or Wisconsin instead of Virginia. Um, there's really not much to drive them one way or the other. If that's the case, the court will eventually issue a single ruling that applies to all. In the meantime, a stay or a hold on same-sex marriages remains in effect. Monday's conference is the first meeting of the justices since late June. Katie Hines, RTV6. And IU Law Professor David Ortlinker tells us that he thinks the court will issue an opinion next summer. We reached out to two of the organizations that have been vocal in support of traditional marriage. Neither the Indiana Family Institute or Advance America returned our calls or emails.